Hello, my name is Scott Sreda, Director of Education for the COPD Foundation. This is lesson number three. In this lesson, we're going to discuss the NDD Easy One Spirometer. These are the spirometers you will find in use at the COPD Foundation Mobile Spirometry Unit events. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to navigate through the Easy One, select different menu options, enter the patient, uh, participant criteria into the machine, and select the proper test. It's important to know that even though you're watching this video, it still does not replace that hands-on experience you're going to get at the event if you have not used this spirometer before. We encourage every individual that participates to show up half an hour early where we do the training and we give you all the opportunity to play with this machine and touch the buttons. So the first thing we're going to do is power the unit on. You're going to press and hold the on-off button and then the machine will power on. You will go to the main screen. In the main screen, it says perform test, view results, print results, configuration database, so forth. So what we're going to do is perform a test, press enter. When you navigate through the menu screen, you're going to notice the numbered buttons and the letters. This operates just like a cell phone does. So it's alphanumeric. If you want the letter C, you're going to press the number two button three times, just like on a cell phone. You'll also notice the left arrow, right arrow, keypads, and escape. If you're in a menu option and you want to get out, you press and hold the escape button for three seconds. That jumps you out to the main screen. If you are in entering data and you made a mistake and want to go back a field, you press and release the escape key quickly and you'll jump up a field. You can also go backwards, backspace with the left arrow, forward, forward space here and then enter will advance to the next screen item. So you're gonna to get to select test and you wanna enter new patient, so you're gonna say enter. Then you go to the enter patient data screen. On the um, screens that you guys have or on the paperwork, there will be the patient's height, age, and gender category that you will look at in order to enter this data. The ID field can be skipped press enter. The name, you'll put in the participant's first and last name. We do not save or record any of this data. It's just so that you can, if you make a mistake or need to add something or retrieve data later, you can find them in the data bank and then we remove it at the end of the event after we calculate the total number of spirometries we did. So we're going to enter name. My name is Scott. Okay, I put Scout. I'm going to press Enter. I made a mistake. I need to go back. You're going to press and hold the Escape. You go up one field. You can left arrow and redo T. Wait a second and then T again. Press Enter. Next field. Age. Height will be in feet and inches. Five foot. Enter. Six inch. Enter. Weight does not need to be recorded. It does not matter for the percent predicted categories. You can skip and do not need to ask this of the participant. Ethnicity. We ask the person to self-identify. The machine can calculate for Caucasian, African American, Asian, or Mexican American. The, um, we have them self-identify, choose the correct category. Gender. Male or female. Smoking status will be no, yes, or former. Asthma will be no, yes, or possible. And then once you complete all these fields, you will go into the top maneuver, which is FVC force expiratory, um, I'm sorry, force vital capacity maneuver. This is the maneuver that we will be performing for the testing. We do not do loops, so you're just going to have the person do a fast and hard blast and keep blowing for six seconds. Also, for the purposes of these video, um, for the demonstration, we also do the six second for vital capacity, so we don't need to keep blowing for 15 seconds. Okay, that concludes this portion.